Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for you today. Um, this is for the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. So if you are viewing it over on their YouTube channel, then you'll find a link to mine below in the description and vice versa. If you're watching this on my channel, I will link UK Scrap Addicts below so you can go and check out all the other girls layouts this month. Uh, we're focused on small photos this month for the challenge. Um, so I've chosen a little picture with my little boy and it's autumn so there's a beautiful tree with really nice autumnal colours. So to begin with I'm creating my background using this stencil, this came in an old um, Mind the Scrap kit about two years ago, I love it, I've used it so many times, it just works perfectly for autumnal layouts. So all I'm doing is just adding some leaves falling down in away from the photo I only want to put it on one side because as well as the small photo I wanted to concentrate my layout around the photo and just have falling leaves coming down from below the paper cluster so I add the texture paste and then I also add some white acrylic paint watered down slightly so that it creates splashes and that black cardstock was just a piece that um, I had where I'd spilt something on it or something so I just use it to test out my colours and to mask off part of my layout so I'm able to add the ink and paints just where I want it. So now that that is all dry I've come in here with some Jane Davenport Mermaid markers. This is the set I think it comes in 12. I got mine from Hey Little Magpie I think and I'm just adding three autumnal colours. I do layer up the paint over and over to try and build a bit more of a darker colour throughout it and I do add a little bit of green at the end just to make sure that it ties in with my photograph because there is quite a lot of green grass on the actual photo. So I've just added in some more green there and now I'm moving on to my colour shine. Because I love to do black backgrounds, um, colour shine works beautifully on these. The colour is slightly different to how it will be on white because the mica powder within it, the shininess, shows through more than the actual colour of the colour shine if that makes sense. So the colour that it looks when it's settled in the bottom is the colour that it shows up on black. And as you can see off to the side I can test out my colours and just add a splash on one side to stop me getting any really large blobs of the ink on my page because that tends to be quite sticky and it doesn't dry very well. So now I've just stapled together some tissue paper that I've had for probably about a decade <laughs> and I've just added some staples to that just to hold it all together, all the layers together and then I also add some staples to a top and bottom corner um, just to hold the tissue paper in place more and just to add a little bit of a decorative element to that. I'm now going to add some paper layers. Most of these papers I got in a Mind the Scrap kit two years ago again. I used up one kit and I bought another one of the same kit because I loved the autumnal colours so much. And so some of these are from that and then I just add a few other um, random uh, pattern papers that I happen to have in my stash to build up a bit of a paper cluster behind my photo. I am off camera because I didn't really manage to get any of it on camera. I've just used the scissors to ruffle all the edges to just give a bit of texture to the edge of my pattern paper as well. And I just wanted to add a little bit of brown in between that blue and the more patterned background paper. I just felt like it needed an extra bit of a block colour before I added it onto that um, one with the little nuts on it. And I made sure that I painted my leaves in the colours that matched that pan paper. 
so I'm just using up some foam here I had quite a lot of scrap so I'm just sort of piecing it together rather than using foam tape this is just fun foam from Hobbycraft it's really cheap get about 50 pieces for I don't know about two or three pounds I think but I, I got mine a few years ago now and I'm only just starting to run low um, I'm using a bit of washi there with little bunny rabbits on I got it from a shop in York somewhere can't remember exactly and I'm also going to add whoops dropped it there an acrylic um, word there that's a perspective by Bramble Fox as you can see I did actually drop it and there's now glossy accent ink all over down one side of my layout but I will try my best to cover that up as you will see shortly um, I'm now dotting um, the it's not glossy accents it's the equivalent the nouveau but it's exactly the same kind of product um, I add the sequins there and then in order to try and cover up some of the glue down the side I do add some extra splashes of colour over the top of it to help it blend in so here I have some cute little stickers these are by Mrs Brimbles um, she designs draws them herself and then she um, sells them in her shop so I've got some cute little autumnal characters there I will link her shop I'll link all the shops of the products that I've used today and then I'm just adding a few enamel dots just to finish off the background there and that's a bit of a close-up and that is me done thanks for joining me today do check out what everyone else is doing over at the UK scrap addicts um, Facebook group and check out the other designs in the blog and on YouTube everything will be linked below in the description have a great day everyone and see you next time bye